Hi, I'm Kyla McConnell, and for the next 10 minutes or so, I'll talk to you about how we can continue to build an inclusive and fun Julia community together. So we know that an inclusive and diverse community brings fresh perspectives, new learners, and an expanded reach to a programming language. But how do we get there? So we see an inclusive and diverse community as being supported by diversity initiatives, safe spaces, and allies that spread the word. And different programming languages and their communities approach this in different ways, but there is a pervasive gender difference across a lot of the wider computer science and data science world. For example, in the 2021 Slack Overflow Community Survey, which was answered by over 80,000 professional and non-professional developers, 91.67% of respondents identified as men. And in comparison, 5.31% identified as women and 1.42% identified as non-binary, gender queer, or gender non-conforming. And even in some of the programming languages that are more diverse, like R, we still see only about 20% of users identifying as women and 1% as non-binary, for example, from the 2019 R community survey. And each um, programming language has its own um, way of supporting gender diversity. For example, there's Our Ladies, an organization which I'm involved with, uh, which is a worldwide organization to promote gender diversity in the R community. And there's currently 216 chapters in 61 countries with over 100,000 members. It's a really huge initiative. Uh, there are workshops going on all the time, a lot of them online. You can also find them on Meetup. And Our Ladies regularly gets feedback that it's very encouraging to have a space to learn that's safe like this. It's easier to ask questions. And it's not only very welcoming, but also very fun. If you want to learn more about Our Ladies, I have um, linked here to a uh, article that talks a little bit about how Our Ladies got started. There's a similar group in the Python community called Pi Ladies. And there's also groups like Women in Machine Learning and Data Science. Uh, but what about the Julia community? So this graph shows an approximation of Julia website visitors by gender. Uh, I mean approximation because this data is based on only a fraction of the total Julia website visitors. So it's more of a guess than anything else. There's a lot of uncertainty. Um, and the gender is assumed by the algorithm. So this is not self-reported identification. Um, so take it all with a grain of salt. But in comparison, we saw in 2021, 20.7% of visitors to the website were assumed to be women. And 79-ish percent were um, assumed to be men. And this year, we're seeing um, forecasts of about 25% women and 75% men. And those are numbers that seem to be similar also on the discourse page and in our Slack. So there seems to be a trend towards improved gender diversity, but there's still a lot of ways to go and we have to make sure this trend um, stays around. And the Julia community does a lot to support gender diversity. There's supportive allies and there's a lot of interest in general and diversity initiatives. There are avenues for asking for and receiving help that are very inclusive and aware of privilege structures like discourse and Slack. And in June 2021, Julia Gender Inclusive was founded. And since then, Julia Gender Inclusive content has been promoted on official Julia media channels like the community calendar and the YouTube um, site. And we received the feedback that it would be great to have more for allies. So now there's a gender inclusive channel on the Julia Slack for all community members. So please check us out there um, if you're an ally. You can follow along with what we're doing and spread it to those you know.
But what is Julia Gender Inclusive? So we are an initiative to promote gender diversity and inclusion within the entire Julia community. And specifically, we welcome anyone who sees their gender as underrepresented within the Julia community, including women, non-binary people, trans people of all genders, and people exploring or questioning their gender. And we're intentionally general about what gender underrepresentation means because we understand gender as being multifaceted. So right now we're an organizing team of five. Uh, there's Rowan, Kim, Shen, Yulia, and myself. And we have regular activities that go on all the time, which I have to tell you about. So first of all, we have our Slack workspace. This is a safe space for people who see their gender as underrepresented within the Julia community. And it serves for communication, discussion, and planning of events, as well as organization. You can get mentorship here and support. And we have a help desk for all levels where we all help each other uh, answer questions um, about anything to do with Julia. And you can sign up through a Google form, which I've linked here, tinyurl slash jdi slack. Um, when you sign up there, you'll be asked if you want to join our email list to stay up to date. Um, and you'll be sent a link to sign up for our Slack. Yes. Another event we have is coffee meetings. They serve uh, an, for networking in a very casual environment, usually on a Sunday, you can bring a cup of coffee. And um, we, we usually or generally have presentations of current Julia applications very short and casual presentations where one of the community members just shares with us what they're working on in Julia. And you can follow us on Meetup to hear about the next one or through the email list if you sign up on our Slack. So on Meetup, you can find us at meetup.com under Julia Gender Inclusive. You'll be able to see all our upcoming events and you should be able to get email reminders as well for events that you've rsvp to. And another event you'll see on our meetup page is Learn Julia with us. This is taught by myself and Julia Muller. We give hour long workshops about once a month and they are aimed at absolute beginners or people coming from other programming languages like R. And we follow Julia Academy content and other Julia community content, uh, but in a group environment live where we can ask questions and talk, talk to each other. You can also find our recordings on the Julia Programming Language YouTube channel. We have a um, playlist there, which you can get to with tinyurl learn Julia with us. All in all, 2022 has been a great year for Julia Gender Inclusive. Uh, we've had over 3,500 Slack messages in 26 channels on our Julia Gender Inclusive Slack. We've had seven coffee meetings so far and five learn Julia sessions with us. Um, so far, and it's only July. <laughs> so yeah, if you're inspired, please join us or follow what we're doing and share with those in your sphere who might be interested. We're always looking for new members and even organizers. And again, the best way to follow us is to sign up for our coffee meeting reminders and Slack space if you do see your gender is underrepresented in the Julia community. Uh, that, the link to that is tinyurl.com slash Slack. You can also follow us on Meetup under our Julia Gender Inclusive for all of our upcoming events, including workshops, coffee meetings, and everything else. That's meetup.com slash Julia Gender Inclusive. And we hope to grow even more in the future. So we are hoping to have advanced Julia with us workshops on all sorts of topics in the future. And maybe one day we'll even have worldwide chapters like our ladies. So feel free to contact us. Uh, you'll reach the organizing team at Gender Inclusive at julialang.org. And thanks for your support. Enjoy JuliaCon. <laughs>